Okay, right, so let's I, get to it. I want to be positive. Positive. I think that's. I'm if positive it's, if that's Tobias Harris stink. If it's not, not the best <laughs> two way game of Tyrese Maxey's career, it is very close because everyone sees the offense, right? Or we expect the offense. We, we know that he's a capable number two next to Joel. At times, he can masquerade as a number one. Like the stuff he did offensively was great and it's meaningful because it's against Boston, who in recent history, let alone throughout his whole career, They've given him fits. He's had struggles. To see him play well offensively and score and be efficient, that's great. Watching him take the challenge on defense against Jalen Brown Mm. and Jason Tatum and draw charges and strip guys and go the other way with the ball, that's some of the best stuff that we have seen from this team, period, since Joel Embiid went down. Yes. I said it after the postgame show the other night. I brought it up on the pregame today that I thought his defense lately in terms of the engagement and the effort has been good. His stunning and recovering, that kind of stuff. But this is something different. This is Tyrese Maxey, who we always say, like, it's a shame he's not a little taller. He could be more of a off guard, a hybrid, whatever. To see him take the challenge against true wings, like elite level wing and Jason Tatum, guy like Jalen Brown. He plus super max. Twice. twice. That was awesome. And that, that's a great example of what we were talking about earlier with Tobias, with the rebounding and defense. Like effort. So much of this is just about effort, dude. It, it's not much more than that. That is Tyrese being locked in mentally. That's him caring about how he can impact the game on that end of the floor. It doesn't take a whole lot. He's got all kinds of disadvantages against those guys. Commitment to the craft is what it takes. So. That's the part I think Tyree should be super proud of. And during the game, I was telling the guys, everybody who's watching in, in the chat, that I had saw something where Ron Artest, who is a former Defensive Player of the Year in the NBA, saying Tyrese Maxey, number one, I thought he was bigger than he was. I met him. At, he said yeah. he met him at the All-Star game, and he thought he was a little bit bigger than he was. And he said, this guy can play defense, and, and not a lot of people were talking about it, but Kai was yeah. uh, because of, of what you saw, the, how his mentality Me and Ron changed. Artest, you, know, you and Ron Artest, the only birds two Birds of a feather it. flock together, No obviously. question about it. Well, just don't, <laughs> just don't tear up the stands, man. <laughs> but, but for him to recognize recognize that and say that about him is very cool to not be known for his defense was cool to hear that the other part in this game after he plucked Jalen Brown twice the other part that we were talking about is how chirpy he was in this game too with Jalen Brown it it was really about Jalen Brown and he was getting after him we don't know where it came from maybe it was the all-star game and they were they were freezing he was he was freezing him out uh, in that game potentially with how things were going in that and looking for Jason Tatum and maybe some of the others because he was the first time uh, rookie uh, participant as a first-time All-Star, whatever it was, I loved seeing that from Tyrese Maxey. James Harden used to say that all the time. Remember when he said, Tyrese Maxey's the nicest dude ever. I want him sometimes to just let it go and be just unleash mean. and be an a-hole uh, out there <laughs> on the floor. And he was tonight, mm-hmm. and it did not affect his play whatsoever. It just it upped his play a level that you know we hadn't seen in a while from him with this two-way play. Yeah, and to the point, like Kyle mentioned, even forgetting the offense, and I agree. I tweeted out earlier in the game. It was probably it might be the best per- defensive performance of Tyrese Maxey's career. That being said, the offense was spectacular. It was too. very good. And yes, the kind of thing, like when you go up against a, a team that in the past had caused him troubles, is the number one defense in the league. At home, they're even better. And to go up there and keep them in the game like that. It was really inspiring stuff. And, like, this is a, a moment where you're watching Tyrese Maxey grow. I know there's a lot of people who are always not a number one or, oh, he needs to create more, and there are valid concerns and criticisms there. But if he's your number one, you're not winning anything anyway. What you need him to do is step in or grow into the, the role where he can maybe not carry them every night, but in certain situations when For you need stretches. it. Yeah, and he showed you tonight in maybe the heart, most difficult environment possible that he has that kind of potential in him. And it, it's just, it's a very encouraging sign for when they get Joel Embiid back that he has this in him. This was a tough matchup, like I said, against a tough team in a tough environment where pretty much everything revolved around him, and he came through. 32 points tonight to uh, lead all scores, 12 for 24, so he shot 50% from the field. And we saw the, we all saw the defense that was coming his way. He didn't care. 
He, it didn't wow. matter who was in front of him. He was going after him. He ran by Porzingis. He ran by Al Horford, as he should. And the same for those wings who started out on him when he, when he had Jason Tatum and Jalen yes. Brown and Drew Holiday and Derek White, all of them coming after him. And I thought the other part, too, that I thought was interesting very early was Nick Nurse started him on Jason Tatum on the defensive end. And he was engaged and right first away. Possession, Tatum yeah, scored on him and, like, like, look, went at him. But there were – Tyrese more than held his yeah. own. And, and if we're talking about what it's going to take in the playoffs, this level of defense from Tyrese is not what it's going to take. They just need above average or, like, competent defense for him. So to see him locked in is all I really care about. And, and Derek got on the offensive tangent for a little bit. There are probably three or four assists left on the table there. Oh my God, on on yeah. plays like great drive, collapse the defense, and kick to, three to Tobias. Tobias Harris. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> right. Another example of how annoying Tobias Harris's game was tonight. But Maxi ended up with five. He should have probably had double digit assists. So, and that's why assists are overvalued, right? Like that doesn't show the pressure that mm -hmm. he put on them at the point of attack and at the rim by getting there. And then freeing other guys up. Like, if he had good shooters or, or, like, a good shooting performance from the team overall tonight, people would be marveling. Oh, wow, look at the box score. I don't care. I'm judging the process behind it and the growth that he's shown. So for him to be able to <clears> – to Derek's point, I don't care if he's good enough to be a number one because the team is not built for him to be number one. It's built for him to be a number two. He has been – an elite number two this year when Joel Embiid awesome. has been healthy, made the all-star team for good reason. And to see him able to put in this level of game without Joel Embiid against this specific team, that tells me everything I need to know. I, I, they're in good hands with him and Joel healthy. As long as Joel comes back this season, they're going to have a puncher's chance with those two. I truly believe that. 